species of beauty in the heart of London, the Chelsea Flower Show. This year, the Royal Horticultural Society has triumphed over the almost Arctic spring to provide a display never surpassed at Chelsea, perhaps not even equal. Up to the very opening of the preview, the carnations and the 101 other varieties of blooms are tended so as to be at their very best during the few days of the show. Princess Alexandra was among the royal visitors. Indisposition prevented the Queen from being present on preview day. There also were Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden, full of praise for everyone concerned in the production of the outdoor gardens. The Society stresses that the object of the show is both educational and scientific, always striving after the perfection which nature so abundantly offers to all who take the trouble. Very much taking the eye was the Garden of Miniature Roses. Perhaps the most famous name in rose cultivation, Harry Wheatcroft. Without him, no Chelsea flower show would seem complete. There's a delightful display of sweet peas, setting the standard for the ordinary gardener to aim at. Surely no better giant delphiniums have ever been seen at Chelsea. Orchids, fascinating in their hint of tropical luxuriance. Lovers of begonias are well catered for. A visit to Chelsea can affect an enthusiastic gardener in two ways. Inspiration or despair. A final feast of colour, rhododendrons, azaleas and tree peonies. And by this annual near miracle of organisation and enthusiasm, all this beauty for a few days is in London itself.